couple of farms. Boom. These are still coming in. This place is not growing. It's got no energy to spare for that last spot. Okay, so my population is ahead. I'm still not trading much in the way of goods, but that should go up soon. Oh, there. Is this a tier two place? Is it? No, tier one. It's making a hundred. Oh, it's from the trade. Doy. Lots of colonies expanding. Oh, there's mine. So we want. Uh, da, da, da. And food, because you got. Actually, I suspect I may want to go back and. Well, we'll see here. Lots of mining. Yeah, and this is actually overkill at this point. I am mining more than my industrial capacity can support. So, we're going to want, ideally, we're going to want one more industrial depo mining deposit. And six, or one more industry center, and like six more mines, and it'll be sort of optimal. May, unless we want to go to 40 mines, we will see. But I don't think I'll build another one of these. They're pricey, but whew, just perfect, just enough. Good, good. Um, you can't build anything. You can't build anything. You're growing, and you're there. And we need to save up a little bit of cash uh, before we expand one more place. But we want to claim at least one more. And then, actually, we want to claim more spots than that because we want to start pumping population. Hey, I got my tier two place. Good, so let's increase the happiness here a little bit. Oh, they've actually got some extra mines so we could plop down here. But we're going to need a lot of uh, colonial headquarters to offset the unhappiness for mining here. But I think it'll probably be worthwhile. All right. So, this place is making some good money. That is good news. Let's uh, speed things up a tiny bit. Whoa, happiness drop. Oh, no, I was, I was looking somewhere else. Good, they're pretty happy. Um, yeah, okay, so we, need, we, need, we still need to gain the population. And we're, we're about double what the other guys are, but they could catch up pretty quick. We also need to gain a monthly income of 1,000 from goods trade before the E&E. I'm at 90% of that, and they actually haven't even started, so... I'm feeling pretty good. Right now, I just need to save up money for some more colonies. Woo! What happened? I got a bunch of money. Congratulations. Commander, you've managed to secure the trade route to the EU EO on Earth through your strong operation. You've been transferred a large sum of cash as your prize. Oh, good, because I got my trade up. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't realize I'd get a whole ton of money for that. That's fantastic. I'm happy I, I concentrated on getting my goods up first. All right, so now we need population, so we're going to just going to drop. I don't even care so much about the mining. I'm just looking for places where I can drop or claim a fair amount of land, so I can build a fair amount of mines or uh, farms. Yeah, that's pretty shitty terrain. Yeah, that'll do okay. Okay, that's definitely as far as I want to go because I'm going to run out of money and not have enough to actually build my places. This capital is still growing. Now, it'll cap somewhere. I think maybe 2 million or 5 million, and then it won't grow unless you do other stuff. 1, 2, and, you know, what's our... Yeah, we can actually do a little bit of mining. We can build a few more mines. Popula population is the goal, but it wouldn't be bad to use up our full uh, industrial capacity. Technology stolen. Massive and sudden attack in the EU headquarters in Shanghai. A large group of militants managed to break into the compound and stole vital data for interplanetary spaceflight. I feel that this will force our hand and let all established factions venture into space as the UEO... Yeah, the UEO is controlling who is going into space, and now that is not going to be a thing anymore. So, new colony, good. No mines at all, so pure farming community. Good, good. This place is still happy? Yes. Although, it does have the mines. That's going to have no mines. It's going to have that. So I could build two mines in my capital. Again, that is really going to pull down the happiness, but we can probably still counter it. Yeah, it's down to 88, but I'm bringing it back up to 98. Good. New colony over here. Oh, I'm in the negatives. Hold on. I can't build yet. i got to get myself back positive. Otherwise, my people are going to get horribly depressed. Come on. 
Speed. It keeps stopping it because of the events. Alright. Lots of tier 2 colonies. That is good news. We will look after you guys momentarily, but first we need some monies. And good. So we're going to slowly just build this guy up. Oh, negative again. Come on. We're, we've got a great income. And we're well ahead in the race. I have no doubt we are, we're definitely going to win at this point. And... Be nice to build one more. Oh, we got places with power problems now. Doi. I gotta take care of that ASAP. It's because they grew, so now they have they're tier two, so they have the higher power requirements. Okay, oops. Oh, I can't build there. There we go. Alright, I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Um I gotta build here too, so let's build a couple of those. And a couple of mines, and that will cap our industrial output perfectly. And one more. Okay, so now we'll look after our tier two colonies and make sure that they are capped to happiness since we get a little bit of money. Good. So they need a little help because they're going to be dragging down everything else, and that's no good. Okay, keep up the speed. Newsflash. A number of spacecraft launches have been detected from Eastern Africa. We lost our signal. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so definitely more people going out into space. It's going to become a lot more crowded here. More happiness, good. Get the big happy face. I always start. I always focus on the lowest ones because the lowest ones are the ones dragging down everyone else. So it'd be stupid to bring one place up to a hundred, only to like you know, then you go to your second place and you start building up, and your place would have been sufficiently happy, uh, you know, without having spent quite so much money. Let's build some here. You might need. To Might see that somewhere. <laughs> oh, we got another tier two, and they're actually dragging down everyone. Because I noticed the downward motion of, of happiness somewhere. I was like, why is that happening? They get really unhappy if they don't have enough power, obviously. More tier two, more tier two. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't realize my, my whole objective has changed. Build a shipyard to construct colony ships. Doi, uh, that's very expensive in terms of energy. Oh, no, just a hundred. I'll build it here. They'll need more power. There we go. Here we are. In order to colonize other planets, you need to increase your maximum range. Your ship range is directly affected by the fuel production of a planet. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, two things. One, I want to start a research here, which long-range thrust drives, so now they will have longer range automatically. Because uh, what is it? I need... So I need to be able to colonize the asteroid belt. Right now it says I need... Fuel, 0 of 17 is what I have. Uh, so, okay, let's pause a sec. So we've already seen that these resources can be either mined for goods to make money, or they can mine for fuel to expand. Uh, so right now I need 17 fuel. That should drop as soon as I finish doing my research. It says no credit now because I'm, I'm new negative, but that'll go away momentarily. So what I should focus on is claiming some more of these places. Uh, how much does it cost? 20 grand, yeah. Claiming more of these places for fuel. I guess there. And, okay. Yeah, there we go. So now I have 10 of 17 fuel because I finished the long range thrust drives. So I only need seven more. So uh, there's, I could convert some of my mines. It's another option. But I sort of don't want to hurt my income. Is there any place I can just grab four? No. I suppose I can convert one mine. That's what I'll do. Oh, let me get positive money again. A little more. Okay, where is the... Here we go, fuel. So I need, it's 5,000 per. Oh, that's quite pricey. Oh, my happiness is going to shit! That's where it gets dicey. So many different masters to serve. So bring up the most miserable places. Oh, this place is miserable because it has no power. That helped. And some of that. Advance a little bit. You need a little more happiness. And a little bit more. Now we start with the neutral faces here. The ones who are really unimpressed with the situation. Yeah. In this place, why so unhappy?